I'm just gonna start over from here. Okay. Oh. Hello! Welcome back to Hannah and Eilish. And today we're really excited because we're talking about one of our favorite things. It's kind of conspiracy theory, but this is actually a movie curse. Yes. So, and it is about the movie Attuck, which was based on a book from around the 70s, and then mm -hmm. they made it into a screenplay in the early 80s, and that's basically when things started to go terribly wrong. Yes, so this movie was about a an Alaskan who happens to go into New York, and it's sort of like a fish-out-of-water type story. Then he ends up, you know, coming back home, kind of like appreciating everything, but it's a comedy, so... But, you know, one of those 70s comedies yeah. where it's not really that relatable to the, today. No. But, um, so, and basically, a lot of the people, basically everybody who was either reading for the main role of a tuck himself, um, or just involved in a minor way, um, they have died. Yeah. Mysteriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're here to just kind of talk about it a little bit and just share what we know and what yeah. we think. So the first victim is actually John Belushi, and just as things were starting to be set in motion for him to take on the lead role, he dies of a drug overdose. Ooh. <laughs> Mysterious. <laughs> a coincidence? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> and the next person that start, decided to take on the role was Sam Kinison, who is also a comedian. And he was the only one who actually started filming. So he was filming for the main role of a Tuck, and he kind of didn't like how things were being written, wanted to rewrite, was kind of causing a bit of a stir within the production studio. And then shortly after all that went down, he got in a car accident and was killed. <laughs> but how he died, and that was weird because... Um, people who witnessed it said that he seemed fine coming out of the car. He was kind of sitting up like nothing was wrong, saying, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And then it looked like he was listening to somebody, and then he said, but why? Mm -hmm. And then he listened again, and then he was like, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then he just died. Was it an Eskimo ancestor pulling him to the other side? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. And victim three was John Candy. And he actually had the script in his hand and was really expressing interest in it when he died of a heart attack. Very soon after. The fourth person to succumb to the Attuck curse is Michael O'Donohue, and he was a friend of John Candy, and he kind of told him that he would be great for the role, kind of, you know, pushed it in his direction. Um, it was also said that he was involved from the beginning of the curse with John Belushi, telling him he would be great for the role, and also he might have written an early um, version of the film. Well, a few months after he gave it to John Candy, he suffers from a sudden cerebral hemorrhage and dies. So that's kind of suspicious. It is. Then um, the next victim is Chris Farley, and he was reportedly very excited to take on the role and was about to accept it when he dies of an overdose. <laughs> the last victim is Phil Hartman, who was another comedian, and Chris Farley told him that he thought he would be great for a supporting role um, in the movie, and shortly after that was all being discussed, he dies by the hand of his wife, who fatally shot him. So, Very pretty crazy. Um, at this point, um, there doesn't seem to be any way that they're going to keep pursuing this film as of now. Probably for good reasons. Yes. <laughs> it's a good thing that thing's locked up. Yes. 
But you never know. It could come back I and know, if somebody would be brave enough to, to take, take on it that on. Role. But I don't know. It seems pretty suspicious it does. to me. It seems Kind of like there really could be a curse, a curse. maybe not, but, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye.